So number one was, yes, absolutely. Be intentional about what classes you're filling, filling your copy, your marketing, your everything around that has to be intentional for that particular thing. If you just say enrolling now at Susie's dance studio, you're not talking to one person. And this is where in our marketing, in our social media posts, in our everything we do, where sometimes we, we miss the mark. We're talking to the masses instead of talking to one singular person. And so what I want you to do is as you are getting ready to enroll, and I want you to think about in my tiny talk class, uh, Peyton's mom is my ideal client. Her and her family and her kid, they're amazing. I want to have four more little Peytons in my tiny talk class. And when you go to write those posts and when you go to write that copy for that social media ad for that class, that's who you're talking to. You are writing it like you are talking to Peyton's mom. Nobody else. That is who you will attract is people just like Peyton's mom. When you write your copy and your content to them. So that's a big tip for y'all. Okay. Be intentional about what you're feel, filling and write to those people. Right. This isn't just abroad. We're enrolling now. Y'all, tip number two. I'm going to give you three quick little tips. Tip number two. Have a system to make sure that nobody falls through the cracks. Because I'm going to give you a little one of my personal experiences. My daughter, Peyton. She wanted to go to continue dancing to go to a studio. And I ha I know in town, you know, at the time I knew there was two that I was probably really comfortable with that aligned with my values um, that were a little more conservative. And so I went ahead and I called both of them. Now this has been a while ago, so just so you know, but called both of them, left messages for both of them, which is fine, right? The studio my daughter currently goes to they called me back and we had a chat and I went in and we did all the things. The other studio did not. And truth be told, while I feel like the other studio was probably, I don't want to say the better studio, but for us, I feel like it probably would have been the best fit. They didn't call me back. They didn't reach out. I then sent them an email and I didn't hear back from that. For me, I'm not going to try more than twice. So you need to have a system in place to make sure that nobody falls through the cracks. You need to connect with people on a human level. Systems are great. Automation can be great, but not in lieu of human connection. Y'all hear me? Automation cannot be in lieu of human connection. Period. The end. People want to connect. People want to be seen and heard and know that they're valued. It's kind of hard to do through automation in some points. Okay. And number three, the last tip for starting to fill your studios right now in January, right? So we've got be intentional about who you're marketing to. Have a system in place to follow up with people, right? The third thing, the third thing that I'm going to tell you guys is you have to have something that draws them in. That has to be part of your long-term strategy. And you guys, if you tell me that, oh, we do a free trial or we do whatever, everybody does that. It might be free. It might be paid. Or, I mean, whatever. But everyone does a trial now. So don't think that makes you any different than anybody else. 
what are you doing to attract the right people into your studio? And one of the things, again, I think that we forget about is that we always need people. We always need new leads. We always need new people coming into the funnel because people will leave for one reason or the other. And so we have to make sure that there's people constantly coming into our funnel. And if we're start, stop, start, stop, not intentional about what we're feeling and then we wonder, and or a lot of times I have people tell me, well, I stopped taking enrollments, you know, in February because we're planning for recital. I'm like, well, you're missing the mark. Because again, as a mom, if I, if my daughter tells me in, you know, the end of January, mommy, I really want to go to dance. I want, you know, I want to be able to enroll them. There should be something for them. And if there's not, and I go to another studio, probably never come into yours. 